Colfox Erie is a regimen that is currently approved in the treatment of metastatic pancreatic cancer. Um, it was then evaluated by the Italian group uh, by itself first as a combination. Basically, it's, a, it's what we call the kitchen sink. It's a combination of all the drugs that are currently available regarding standard cytotoxic chemotherapy. So you have 5-FU, you have your and your oxaliplatin in one regimen. And the original trial um, actually compared it to um, Full Fury, which is just 5-FU and arinotecan, and they noticed improved response rate and improved progression-free survival. But many of us utilize bevacizumab as part of our frontline regimen. So the Italian group created basically what's called the TRIBE trial, which is looking at full FOX area plus bevacizumab for a maximum of 12 cycles, and then going on to what we call maintenance chemotherapy, which is then removing the more toxic drugs, removing the arinotecan and the oxaliplatin as the patient was as long as the patient's obviously responding, their labs are good, or at least they have, they have stable disease, and then continuing on the so-called maintenance regimen. The control arm remained standard full fury bevacizumab. And what they basically noted is there was an improvement in response rate, um, there was an improvement in progression-free survival, and um, they also reported at last year's ASCO GI that in fact um, they have a five-year overall survival reported at 25 percent. Why is that important? Um, um, because the uh, current um, data suggests that the overall five-year survival for patients with metastatic colorectal cancer is only 13 percent for surgically unresectable disease. So the fact that they reported uh, 25 percent is quite impressive. Now is it for all patients? No. Um, because it's basically, as I mentioned before, involves all the, the cytotoxic or uh, the chemotherapy regimens that are available to patients, the patients are more prone to developing myelosuppression, so a drop in their counts. So in fact, about 50% uh, of patients did end up with grade three neutropenia. So if you utilize this regimen, you want to give it to a patient that's in good shape, a performance status of zero to one, that you believe could handle this regimen. Um, and then um, if you do use this regimen, you need to follow the patients closely to see if they need, an, um, if their counts fall. Because if it does fall, then you need to give them some um, he, uh, hematologic support with either GCSF or, or new Lasta to make sure the white blood cell count doesn't fall again for subsequent cycles. Because if, obviously if it does, then you're delaying their next treatment. Um, so it's, it's not necessarily for all patients, but I think it definitely does have some promise. And the data that was reported previously has shown that there's, there's a small subset of patients that definitely would benefit from this combination. So there's a patient population called the BRAF mutant patient population. I'm not sure if, if you're familiar with that, but that's less than 10% of all of our colorectal carcinoma patients and it's an extremely poor prognostic indicator. So with standard chemotherapy alone, the overall survival is about 12 to 13 months, no matter if you give full FOX or full FURY frontline. But in this um, trial, TRIBE, when they looked at the full FOX theory bevacizumab combination and they did the subset analysis of the, I'm sorry, subset analysis of those patients specifically with the BRAF mutation, once again less than 10% of patients, when they looked at that data, the median survival was almost up to 20 months. So that for those patients with this very poor prognostic factor, that would be a great approach to them as an upfront therapy because you, you, you know that they have a very poor prognosis in general. Now currently there are trials for um, the BRAF mutant patient population that are ongoing, but for people that don't have access to those trials, that would be a great opportunity to utilize it. And once again, it's also an opportunity for patients that you, know, you think have very aggressive tumor, that you think that maybe you want to be aggressive with their treatment and they are in good shape and their laboratory tests are very reasonable. So it, you need to have buy-in from your patient as well.